Hey everyone, welcome to our series of Chinese marketing tips created by marketers for marketers. I want to talk about a fundamental topic today. How important is a Chinese consumer market in North America and what should we even do about it? Let's quickly go over the importance of this audience. Chinese, in both US and Canada, is one of the fastest growing ethnic groups with a whopping $314 billion of annual spending. However, they're often overlooked or missed by general marketing campaigns. You need a more tailored strategy to reach the Chinese audience living in Canada or the US. I'm going to introduce a concept today that I like to use to describe how the Chinese Americans and Canadians behave differently from the general audience in North America. It's actually a very simple concept. Transplanted consumers surrounded by media barriers. You may already know, but China has very strict digital regulations, popular websites, streaming platforms, and social media that we use here every day are banned in China. Can you imagine not having Google or YouTube or even Instagram? But it's actually okay without having any of them in China because there are plenty of Chinese publisher platforms that replace everything else. There's Baidu instead of Google, no YouTube or Netflix, but they have Youku, Tudu, IGE, and Mango TV, and more. No Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, but they have WeChat, Weibo, Xiaohongshu, which is known as Little Red Book. So Chinese people mostly use the Chinese digital ecosystem even after moving to Western countries. They don't feel the need to use the mainstream media because it's easier to use websites in Chinese and they have more content related to Chinese culture. By reaching them on the right platforms, we can effectively connect with them. But the walled garden platforms are not available on the agency trade desk. So you need to get a help from a specialist like eSport Media. A lot of major agencies and brands from different industries have already worked with us to reach the Chinese consumers in Canada and the US. If this idea was completely new to you, you should reach out to us and we can run some powerful campaigns for you. We also welcome any questions related to Chinese marketing. Let us know what you thought of today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in our next episode.